Well, I call the Deputy Speaker and the Honourable Member for Fisher. Uh, thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Tonight I wish to address two topics. Uh, firstly, the importance of Parliamentary Day for Daniel tomorrow, and secondly, the predatory uh, pricing discounts being given by the Sunshine Coast daily. I raise today an example of the majority foreign-owned multinational media company APN, which operates the Sunshine Coast Daily newspaper, engaging in what could only be described as predatory conduct to try to eliminate a local business within my area. I find this behaviour unconscionable. APN owns the largest outdoor advertising business in Australia and New Zealand and has strong growing operations in Hong Kong and Indonesia. Across the Tasman, they have numerous radio networks and hear radio stations in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane and Adelaide. APN publishes 22 daily and more than 100 non-daily newspapers across Australia and New Zealand. I have been informed the Sunshine Coast Daily, its management and employees are now proudly gloating within the business community of an intention to kill off a locally owned publication that stands up to it in the market with a sustained discount strategy which has reductions of up to 70 per cent. The My Property Preview has saved the Sunshine Coast region more more than $30 million in advertising costs over the past three years since its launch, and this has permitted advertisers to meet other more important priorities such as education, medical expenses and grocery bills. Being independent is what Australia is all about, and everyone today should be extremely mindful that Australians have had a gutful of seeing multinational companies simply treat communities with contempt in the name of profits. The My Property Preview is an independent business that effectively provides employment for up to 120 people. There is no doubt that APM would like to enjoy a monopoly which would allow it to resume pre-2008 advertising rates and once again have locals paying exorbitant prices for trying to sell their homes. I am advised that the My Property Preview publishers have now met with the ACCC, which has commenced communication with APN. I call upon the ACCC to investigate this matter thoroughly to ensure Australian independent publishers are not forced out of the market by predatory pricing. It is common knowledge that the Sunshine Coast Daily News paper is in serious decline. Its thirst for profits from a declining readership has never been greater. In my opinion, this anti-competitive behaviour is not for the benefit of Sunshine Coast residents. The recent share price collapse, collapse suffered by APN could be the market reacting to what seems to be desperate and irrational conduct. I call on all shareholders and ethical investors in the company to question its management about what it is putting at risk. I have met with the publishers of the My Property Review and understand they will fight on to protect the Sunshine Coast from this desperate measure by a desperate company grasping at straws. Can I also suggest that all honourable members engage with independent publishers across the country to make sure uh, that this, uh, what is happening on the coast is not happening elsewhere, uh, but also to ascertain to what extent this unacceptable behaviour might be. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, tomorrow is the parliamentary day for Daniel, and that gives all of us the opportunity of wearing a red tie or a red item of clothing to uh, stand up for the principle of child safety. Day for Daniel recognises the work of the Daniel Morecambe Foundation, led by Denise and Bruce Morecambe, which so actively and promotes child safety matters. The Morecambe family uh, suffered uh, a terrible tragedy uh, when, in 2003, 13-year-old Daniel set out on a, a shopping trip to buy Christmas presents for his family, but he has never made it to the shops and he never made it home. In August, a 41-year-old man was arrested and charged in relation to Daniel's disappearance. The charges include murder, deprivation of liberty, child stealing, indecent treatment of a child under 16 and interfering with a corpse. The court process is ongoing. Day for Daniel was last Friday, October 28, and included in the wide range of events uh, uh, was uh, the major walk for Daniel. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, uh, Bruce and Denise uh, Morecambe uh, are very supportive of the fact that tomorrow I'm encouraging all members uh, to wear a red tie, a red scarf, black scarf or a red item of clothing just to indicate our solidarity with the principle of child safety in this nation in the year 2011. Last year, of course, we had the Prime Minister, we had the Leader of the Opposition, we had the Deputy Prime Minister, the Minister for Foreign Affairs, the Manager of Government Business, the Deputy Leader of the, uh, sorry, the, the, member, the, the Manager of Opposition Business, uh, the uh, Minister for Foreign Affairs uh, and many others. Uh, participating in the Parliamentary Day for Daniel. 
Uh, I was enormously proud uh, when I entered the chamber on last year's parliamentary day for Daniel and saw a sea of red. And I think it's wonderful we've got this bipartisan issue which can join us uh, together to help us support the work of the Daniel Morecambe Foundation. The Morecambe family have put their own grief aside and they are determined to make sure that other children in Australia are safe and that indeed child safety becomes a matter of monumental importance, of the highest importance in a civilised society. And let's hope Australia is civilised and I want to encourage all of my colleagues to wear red tomorrow.